everyone and welcome back to my channel hi guys welcome to another video i am so excited for this video because as you can see by the title i am going to be letting influencers or content creators choosing what i eat for a day which is so scary um but i'm also really excited so if you guys didn't know my name is rachel i am six <laughs> i'm not even 16 my name is rachel and i guess kind of like I don't want to say an anniversary, but I've nearly been on YouTube for one year now. So I wouldn't call myself a con like an influencer, maybe a content creator. But anyway, I'll let you guys decide that. Um, but today it's not about me. It's about choosing, letting other influencers control what I eat. Um, but I'm also in anorexia recovery. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of fear foods in today's video, which I am very scared about. But at the same time, it's just going to make... It's just going to get me one step closer to freedom and that's what we're after so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do make sure to give it a massive thumbs up please subscribe if you're new and a big thank you to all kind of my friends or influencers um who are starring in today's video thank you for choosing what i eat and yeah let's hope it's good <laughs> So meal one of the day, um, I'm actually starting this in the evening. Well, I'm filming this intro like um, in the afternoon, but the first meal will be the one that Grace chose me. So if you don't know, this is Grace. Um, and she chose me a jacket potato with beans and cheese. And she said specifically a lot of cheese. <laughs> There's a few fair foods in there. Um, but I'm excited. I feel like it's also good. It's quite easy to make. Um, and I hope I do grace justice. But yeah. Um, I'll fast forward to tonight when I make it. So yeah, let's go. Hey everyone, it is now dinner time. And the first person is Grace. So she sent me, um, I think she said something. I'll put the message on screen. Like have jacket potato with cheese and beans and she says specifically a lot of cheese so i'm just about to put the cheese on here is it i'll do a little close-up as well um but yeah now i'm going to put the cheese on and she definitely said to put loads of cheese on so i put a lot of cheese on um but yeah this is her it is a fair food cheese um, and I haven't had a jack potato in like so long, so let's try it. I put so much on. I hope, Grace, I've done you proud. Right, let's have a try. I feel like the cheese melted into the beans as well. It's gonna be really nice. Mm. That's really good. She didn't specify what, um, what cheese, so I went for red Leicester. And a bit of veg just to like bulk it up for a dinner. Look at that cheese, guys. <laughs> that is good. Thank you, Grace. You know what it reminds me of is like childhood. Like childhood with loads of cheese on and beans. Oh my gosh. It's taking me right back. I'm gonna finish this and I'll see you guys for the next meal. I would rate this a solid eight out of 10. I feel like anorexia doesn't like all the cheese, but that doesn't mean I don't like it. I do love it and I'm really glad um, that Grace chose this. So thank you. Hey guys, so it's now the next day and I have asked more of my friends, well, influencers slash friends, um, what I should have for my next meals. Now, everyone is suggesting dinner foods. So this might be me doing a week of dinners instead of like, 
you know, filming it all in one day. Um, and it's also easier for me to film in the evenings because I have school. But yeah, next person is the wonderful Ella Daisy. I'll put her on screen. Um, she suggested to have a veggie spag bowl or spaghetti bag. <laughs> oh my gosh, spaghetti bolognese. Um, so that's what I'm going to be having. So yeah, I thought we could do a little cook with me montage. And yeah, let's have spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> it is now dinner time i have got spag bowl um with like a really nice sun-dried tomato sauce got a bit of spinach a bit of tomato mushroom onion um carrot all that good stuff and i've also got some cabbage for greenery because hear me out we go to the market on a tuesday and we always get this like amazing fresh veg and i kid you not the cabbages are like huge like bigger than my head um, so we always have it. Um, but yeah, let's give this a try. This was Ella's choice. So thank you, Ella. Let's have a little try of the pasta. That is good. I can't take credit for the sauce because my mum did make it. Um, the only thing I did was cook the pasta. Let's have a try of the sauce. That is good. The sun-dried tomatoes are so good. I'll ask my mum for the recipe and then I'll put it in um, in the bio. Um, so look out for that. But yeah. It's very hot, I'll tell you that. I don't know if anyone else agrees with me, but when it's in the slow cooker, the flavours are just so good. I think it's because it's slowly cooked, obviously because it's a slow cooker, but you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like it's so nice. And my mum's obviously a good chef. Honestly, I wish I could just invite you guys around and you could just come and eat with me. I feel like that'd be so nice. Um, and my mum can cook. But because we can't do that, please accept my virtual dinner invitation. You can just put this video on while you're having your dinner or your lunch snack, whatever. Um, and let's eat together. But yeah, I'm going to finish this and I'll catch up with you guys for the next meal. everyone so it is dinner time again and tonight i have pesto pasta this was ezra butler's um suggestion for what i should have pesto pasta here it is um i've just thrown in some peas and stuff and sweet corn broad beans just like frozen veg let's give it a try i feel like you can't eat pasta nicely <laughs> like you just can't that is really good. FYI, I did not make my own pesto. I used um, where are you? Sainsbury's for me and my mum. The broad beans go so well with the pesto. I'm gonna finish this, but thank you to Ezra for this suggestion because it is really, really good. So, yeah. Now on to the next meal. JC's Diary, the wonderful JC, choose 
what I was going to have for breakfast. So she said baked oats. She didn't give me a recipe. Sorry, it was really hot. Um, but I went for like this blueberry and banana one. That was just on BBC Good Food. Um, so hopefully it's nice. I'm going to try it first without any yogurt. And then if it's too dry, then I'll put yogurt on it. But it's, it seems quite dry. I don't know if I make, made it properly. Um, but we'll see anyway. Yeah, it's quite dry. Is it quite dry? Have <laughs> you said it sort of did look cooked quite mm. some time ago? May have overcooked it, but we'll see. See what my mum thinks. It's just quite dry. This is my first time ever having baked oats, but I feel like I didn't do it justice. I feel like I'm going to ask JC for her recipe because... I don't think we made it right, but it's still nice. What do you think? My personal opinion is um, we probably done it wrong. So, so there's our apologies to whoever suggested it. But no, you don't know what ramekins. We've got them wider. Mm. If we had them shorter and taller, we probably cook differently. Yeah. I no, I like that idea. I feel like we just executed it badly. Mm. So I do want to try it again mm. with her recipe and see. Um, because I feel like, I don't know, maybe it was just this recipe. No, I think it was, I think we just cooked it too long. It's all right. It's all right with your help. It's all the sets, all good food. Hey everyone, I realise it's actually a couple of days later and I haven't actually found an intro, in, <laughs> outro, um, for today's video. And I just want to say that there will be a part two because there are other suggestions that I didn't get around to doing in this video that I do want to do. So they'll be in part two. But thank you so much for watching this video. It's a new one from me. I've never done this before or anything like this. Um, so let me know in the comments if you liked it or not. Um, because we could definitely do more stuff like this. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to give me a massive thumbs up. Please, please subscribe. It's absolutely free. So why not just hit the red, 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 I can't speak, red subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you guys very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.